So, I really want to talk about Bloomboro. It is a set that's coming out in August 2024, and I think it looks really, really cool. But the thing I'm most interested is that we know that it is going to be a kindred focused set based on two color pairs. Now, initially, they revealed a series of hero characters that are, I don't know, saving the world, I guess. And it looked like there were five of them, and I thought, oh, are they doing like a Strixhaven? Where we've got red, white mice, black, green badgers, black, white bat, looks like? And, hmm, who are the rest? So I started thinking about what are these different pairs? And at first I thought Strixhaven. It's the same Strixhaven pairs, right? The enemy colors, as people call them. But then we started to see more cards. And we quickly got confirmation that rabbits are green, white which is not one of the Strixhaven pairs, and we got an Otter card, which while being blue-red does make it fit with Strixhaven, it adds an extra creature type to our web. See, we initially were shown five, mice, badgers, lizards, rabbits, and bats. But if we're adding extra types in here, then unless we have some crossover, which would be a little weird because of the Kindred theme, we're maybe going to be seeing a full 10, a Ravnican style, all 10 two color pairs set. With this, we can start to pick apart what the different two color pairs are probably gonna be focused on. So we've already got confirmation of red, white mice, green, white rabbits, and blue, red otters. In our splash art of the different heroes, we see a badger whose background implies black, green, and a bat whose background implies black, white. And then there's a lizard. Well, probably a lizard. Both lizards and salamanders exist in magic, which is a perfectly reasonable distinction, but for the sake of kindred, it could get a little bit messy. I think they're going to go with lizard just to keep things consistent, especially considering there's way more lizards in magic than salamanders. We don't have any confirmation on the colors here, but the art implies a black red. In addition to these five hero characters, there is another piece of splash art that shows a sixth, a frog, who who just looks very blue-green. There's like nothing to say about it. They just look extremely blue-green. They're probably blue-green. We also saw splash art of a Frog King character. We have not seen the card for them, but probably blue-green. Now, in addition to the blue-red otter, we have also seen a splash art of Ral, the Planeswalker, as an otter, which tracks because they're also blue-red. We also saw someone who appears to be Jace as a fox. Now, Jace does not map super well onto a two-color pair, but leaning into foxes, there is a chance that this is going to be our blue-black faction, considering the cunning reputation that foxes have. It's also entirely possible that fox is going to be a one-off for Jace and not be one of the kindred types that we are seeing plentifully, but considering Ral is an otter, it does stand to reason that foxes will likely be a type. Other than these types, we don't have a lot of hard evidence to go off of. But we have seen teasers for the Commander Precons. Now the reason I don't refer to this as hard evidence is because I think it's very easy to read into a Commander Precon and assume something about the main set. Commander Precons don't have to have anything to do with the main set. So while I am going to be jumping off of what we've seen, it's entirely possible that it's completely a red herring. We've seen the cover art for the four pre-cons, which showcase a character and the colors that the deck is going to be. Red-green is a raccoon, which does track for raccoons in the past, and there was a previous panel where Mark Rosewater mentions raccoons in the set. Although, once again, entirely possible that all of them ended up in the pre-con, and they're not actually a main type of the set. The next deck includes green-white and showcases a rabbit, which is no new information. And then we have a blue, white, and red deck that showcases a bird. If blue-red is otters and red-white is mice, then it stands to reason that blue-white would be birds, which does track. As a personal note, I'm really excited for blue-white birds. I, I have a blue-white birds commander deck. Uh, I'm just, I'm just excited. Anyway, lastly, and most weirdly, in my opinion, is a squirrel deck. Now, I'm not surprised there's going to be squirrels in the set. I would be surprised if there weren't squirrels in the set. But it is black-green. And we've already seen 
badgers as being black green. So what does this mean? I'm really not sure. It might mean that each of the two color pairs will be made up of multiple creatures. It might mean that squirrels are going to be not a big deal in this set and only show up in the pre-cons. It might mean that badgers are kind of not actually a big deal and they're the super red herring and we just have one badger that kind of trundles around but is not indicative of the two color pairs main type. But, and I do really want to mention this because I think it's really easy for people to miss since we're looking at new information, in 2023 we were first shown an announcement for the set and we saw a very necromancer coded squirrel and it looked so cool and I, black green squirrels. Black green squirrels, we're gonna see black green squirrels. I, I don't know what they're doing with the badger, but we're definitely gonna see black green squirrels. The thing is, with all of that, we have a creature for every two color pair in Magic. We have red, white mice, green, white rabbits, black, white bats, blue, black foxes, black, red lizards, green, red raccoons, blue, red otters, blue, green frogs, blue, white birds, and black, green badgers and squirrels. Still don't know what to make of that one, but that's what we've got for Bloomboro. I'm very excited and I'm curious to learn more.